Hold My Drink Extra Juice with Charlene and Ellie, a Go Loud original podcast, proudly sponsored by Pennies. Get this season's must haves in a store near you. Welcome to All My Drink Extra Juice, which is kindly sponsored by Primark Pennies, the ultimate high street destination that has everything you need this spring. Get your style out there, have some fun and celebrate yourself at Primark. Primark is the ultimate high street store that every girl is obsessed with. Spring is here and it's your time to go big on your wardrobe. Stand out with Primark's latest spring 2023 collection. The range is characteristically cool, think pop and bright colours and alluring florals as well as having utility inspired khaki cohorts. Giving it a touch of edge for standout street style moments which myself and Ellie both mm-hmm. adore. I love a little cool. cargo moment. Yes. Did you know you can also check out what is in your local store on the Primark website? We've actually spoken about this about how handy it is. It's great. Yeah. Yeah. With their new stock finder as well. It's so handy, but sure, we're always popping in there to pennies anyway, but you can just make sure that what you're looking for is in stock yeah. in your size. Or say if you're going like out or you have a special event coming up, you can look and see what they have. Yeah, yeah. Like proper to the website. Plan your outfit yeah. before getting there. Yeah. Because sometimes it's busy, so if you know what you're going in for... Run in, grab Run in, grab it. Yeah. Log on to www.primark.com forward slash IE. Check out all their spring pieces and see what's in your local store with their new stock finder. So this is our bonus episode where we get to answer even more of your dilemmas. So the email address that these are all sent into is homeordrink at goloudnow.com. And that's where you can pop in your dilemma. I wonder, like, has everyone listened? What? Ever sent a dilemma in? Everyone? Have they, do you think? No. No. Don't, guys, don't be afraid to send them in. <laughs> they don't need to be long either. No, yeah. We often get long ones in. I, I think people probably feel like, oh, my problem isn't big enough. But any problem is a problem. It doesn't have to be about boys. No. Like, it can literally be anything. Mm-hmm. You can literally ask us what to eat for dinner. Yeah. We will help. We will help. So first one is, hey girls, I absolutely love your podcast. So there's a girl I've been friends with for a couple of years now, but I don't know if she's someone I want to be friends with anymore. She cannot be happy for any of the other girls or me, but particular me. Particularly, particularly, <laughs> particularly me. <laughs> Always want to put me down in group situations and make me feel so little. So just making comments on pieces of jewellery that I'm wearing, which are sentimental, saying she doesn't like them or even my makeup or clothes. At my birthday party, she even had a problem with me being a little bit drunk and bitching about me to other people, saying I was making a fool of myself in front of everyone. And I can honestly say I was not that drunk at all. I was just enjoying myself. Recently, I met up with her and some of the other girls and she texted one of the other girls saying if I talk about a certain thing that she will be annoyed. But naturally it came from conversation as it's something happening in my life at the moment. The minute I went to the bathroom, she started calling me a negative and bitching about me to the other girls. To the extent that everyone disagreed with her because they actually, they didn't actually agree with her because they're afraid to stand up with her, stand up to her. The horrible thing is I was in the bathroom, I just knew she would be bitching about me and I felt sick walking back to the table, which is not a nice way to feel when you're out with so-called friends. I tried to play it off when I was told about it by one of the other girls, but I genuinely can't stop thinking about it. And it's made me so upset because if these are things... I know what stuff she's saying that I haven't been told. I don't know what to do and she's not the kind of person that you approach about this sort of thing either. I don't want to hang the other girls out by telling her I know about all these things. Cut her off. It's hard to cut her off when she's in a group though with them. But she seems like a wagon. <laughs> <laughs> My God. What well, something's happening, If something's right. happening in your life, you're entitled to want to speak about yeah, it. Yeah, you can talk about whatever you want yeah. going on in your life. But and it's annoying her. How is she to say that it's annoying her? And it's hard because your friends are obviously like scared to stand up for her, to her. But like nothing's going to change if no one stands up to her. Yeah. It could have been if they literally all turned around and were like, here, you're being a bit harsh. Like she has no one on her side. Then whereas all the girls are backing her up. Why would Why they? they ba- yeah, they're afraid to say that to her. Yeah, I think they. It have, sounds like the bully of the group. Yeah. Like they should have said something there, I think. Or even afterwards saying, look, I think that was a bit of lying or something because that she's basically getting validation that she's right by them all being like, yeah. But then they're all telling her yeah. oh, so-and-so was talking about Yeah, you. yeah. So it's like they're agreeing with her in the moment, but then when the moment is over, they'll go and they're tell her. her. Would you say it to her? She said she's not the kind of person you can approach this sort of thing with. Yeah, but is she only the type of person you can't approach because it's a conflicting conversation that you have to bring up with her? Like Probably. She just always thinks she's right, like... I wonder is it a thing where you can get all the girls together and be like, do you want to kind of have a little intervention with her? Because mm. not to say that you're ambushing her, but just being like, here, you're being 
a bitch. Yeah, and like it's you're quite hard to be around and negative. Yeah. I think it's going to have to come in numbers because it kind of sounds like, I don't want to sound like I'm making you gang up on her, but like in a nice way, a nice as you can kind of thing. Like she's not being nice to you. So yeah, giving her a bit of truth, I suppose, and not tiptoeing around her as well because she's not tiptoeing around you. She's being horrible. She's slating your clothes, makeup, bitching about you. Like she's not being a friend. So you don't have to be around the bush with her, I wouldn't say. You don't say. have to worry, yeah. No. Why is she being a bitch? <laughs> I don't get it. Like, Why is she caring that you were drunk at your party? Yeah. Like, what? I think speak to her. If with you the rest even, of us? Not even with them all, if you don't if you don't feel comfortable doing that. Even with one of them and just been like, what is your problem? Like, you're really... It's either going to... me feel shy, like... Yeah, or else it's going to blow up one day, I think. Somebody is going to lose their heads. Yeah. In a but that's why like it's better to do it first. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Do it now before people lose their yeah, heads. Yeah, if you don't end up doing that, someone's going to end up just screaming the head off someone else yeah. one day. Yeah, I agree. I just won't end up well. And things just bubble up when you keep them in. And get right, worse just, and worse and Yeah, worse. they just get like so built up in your head then. <clears throat> so I would say to definitely say to her and just be like, you're not just being, you're not being a good friend. Yeah. Why are you being a bitch? Or why are you hang around with us if you're set of problems with everything? Yeah. Do you know? If you don't like us, yeah. leave. Yeah. <laughs> Next one is, hi girls, absolutely love the podcast. You two are like the two older sisters I never had. Oh, my whole heart. That's so cute. I've been seeing a guy for about three months now. Before we started seeing each other, he was with another girl. Pretty much straight after they ended, we started seeing each other. Since then, we can't get enough of each other. We spend any spare time we have on each other. Whoa, that was a lot of each other. <laughs> this boy is a known womanizer. He has been with so many girls and has quite a reputation. And I know this before I started seeing him. I never expected to get too serious, so it didn't bother me. But now it is. He asked me to be his girlfriend on multiple occasions, but I said no because he was always drunk and refuses to bring it up or ask me when he's sober. He told me, without asking me, that he's not seeing any other girls and asked if I was seeing other boys, which I said no. Here's the issue. He will not let me near his phone or even see it. Even just to look at a picture, he has to be holding it. He's always looking over his shoulder when he's on it and at night he makes sure to put it on airplane mode or do not disturb before we go to sleep. It's starting to make me a bit sus now. I'm not the type of person to look for a location or check snap score and I don't feel the need or want to know my partner's passcodes. But the fact he is so secretive is making me think about it more and more. There's a certain name that keeps calling his phone and he always seems to have texts off them, not on Snap. I've looked up and stalked as a girl does and I literally cannot find any dirt on this boy and can't find or find any information on the girl that he that is texting him. It's almost like he's too clean. It's starting to play on my mind a lot lately. It was fine when we, were, when we weren't serious, but now that we're getting more serious, it's really bothering me. What do I do? Girl, I think I know this man. <laughs> Uh, I don't I'm confused as why she said he's a known womanizer but then he's so clean now but the whole of the being worried about the phone that is I, that gives me PTSD yeah red flag I remember like, not being able to hold the phone to change a song yeah to not lift like yeah. in the car and you're not even being able to lift up the phone to yeah without a, a fit like no yeah yeah now it's so nice to be able to be handed a phone and be like, just look through that? it, yeah. 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 No, not even look, like, yeah, just for yeah, anything. Yeah, yeah, I know. The do not disturb thing worries me as well. Now, I put my phone on oh, sleep you do, mode. you do, you do. But that's only because... But airplane mode, really? Yeah, mine goes on sleep, but, like, you can do sleep mode and you can put it on, you can turn on notifications for certain people, like... Oh! So, like, if I could put it on you and, like, your text would come I'd in. still get, I'd still come through, okay. It's hard because, like, Obviously, at the start, when you're not serious, someone you don't really care. But now, yeah. when you have feelings, then you start overthinking everything. But, like, that's the only thing that gives me red flags here. Not being able to look at his phone? Yeah. Or, like, him being so secret about it, like, that he's, like, watching what over his shoulder. possibly be on? Like, yeah. yeah. And then if a number always ringing him, that's not on Snapchat. Yeah, what's that? What's, what's Is that? Is it a girl's number? But even if it's not, they can always change the name. Yeah. Have you ever done that? Change the name? Yeah. Uh, no. <laughs> have I? <laughs> have I? I don't, I don't know. know. I tell you. I tell you. Oh, no, 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 no. 
God, not for a reason like that. Yeah, Probably yeah. Probably like... No, I don't think I have. No. No. Um, I'm just get. I don't know. I feel like you're... She's getting bad vibes, so it's, I'd listen to them vibes you're getting. Charlene's spidey senses are spidey senses tingling. Are but hers are, and I'm like, if you have them feelings, they're not there for no reason. Yeah. You're very, very, very rarely paranoid for no reason at all about a boy. Do you think, yeah? Your gut, like, telling her. But do you think because she knows that he was a womanizer before that he... It's she's, made paranoid. Yeah, she's yeah. just naturally assuming. Do you think a womanizer can change? No. <laughs> That's just how they are. Yeah, no, I don't think so. Yeah. I'd love to think they could, but... In the reality of things, I don't think they can. Yeah. I think they can tell you that they can. So what did start? He, before he started to know he was with another girl, pretty much straight after they ended... Yeah, he's the ex is still involved. That's oh, do you think it's her? Of, yeah, probably. Do you? Yeah. That's why he's being so sussy. Girl. Yeah. Like, he's probably still entertaining her, even if he's not seeing her. Yeah. Kind of keeping her there. I don't know. I'm I'm thinking the worst for you. I really hope he's not. But like, I don't know. I think if your gut is telling you something's up and you have no even reason for it, like your gut is probably right. Yeah. Yeah. That you need to listen to it. Like certain angles, Colin is funny. Always seems to have texts often. Not on. Would you ask him? Like, what? what are you hiding on your phone? Why are you being so sussy for? The fact, like, when he's showing her a picture, he has to hold it. Like, that's come yeah. on. Would you say it to him? Uh, yeah, gonna, I would. I'd be like, I'm not going to fucking rob your phone. Yeah, 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 yeah. My own. Yeah. Like, what or if I seen on? if I seen a girl kept bringing someone, I'd be like, who's that? Yeah, who keeps ringing you? Yeah. Just out of curiosity, I'd probably even if I wasn't paranoid about it, I'd be like, "Who's hey, that ringing you?" Like, just it's like something you ask. I'd answer. If someone's, yeah, hey, hello, hey girl. But then I'm like, see, these men are so like they could literally spend their whole tactical. time. Yeah, they could spend like she said, they spend every spare minute they have with each other. But they could still be doing something like. Mm. They just have ways to fucking make time in the day. I think I'd say it to him about the whole phone thing. Yeah, and I and that. I'd explain it to him as in like you're making yourself seem more sussy because you're not so open. Yeah, you're making it look like you are hiding things. When I want to believe that, hopefully you're not. That you're not. But it's making it really difficult for me to believe that. Yeah, believe yeah. that because you are so sussy. Like yeah. what is going on? Yeah, yeah. I think start with that and go from there and see how he reacts. Because then mm. you'd be like, his reaction will tell all. Will tell you a lot. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Third one is, hey girls, I've been. It's been a few months since me and my ex split up. We were together for three years, but we were previously together before that. So we were part of each other's lives for so long. I feel completely lost. I put on weight while we were together and I feel like I depend on him for so much, including feeling confident, especially towards the end. All of my friends are in relationships too and I feel really upset when they bring up their fellas. Of course, it's not their fault, but it just triggers something inside of me. We had so much planned and the breakup was out of nowhere. He's since moved on and I feel as if I should be over it all too. I'm just really frustrated with myself for still feeling like this so many months on, but I can't shake the feeling of being lost and upset. Any advice on what to do? P.S. Love the podcast. You've got me through some of the hardest days. Thank you so much. I love you. Bless you. Don't feel bad for for you not moving on as quick as he had. Like, everybody moves in different, different paces. paces. yeah. So just because your pace isn't as... But you don't know that he's definitely feeling moved on. Like, yeah. re- realistically, you don't. But no. don't feel... Yeah, don't feel pressure or frustrated at yourself for still feeling like you might miss him yeah. after a few months. Yeah, it takes everybody a different length of time. Defo, and like you're together before together three years, and then also together before that's a, that's a long time mm. to be with someone for, and then a long time you're gonna miss them for, obviously. So just because it looks like he's moved on, he mightn't even be. Yeah. Um, I remember like I can get what she's saying about that people bringing up their fellas, but like when you're going through a breakup, even when you see a couple of them, yeah, like, yeah fuck, fuck you. you. <laughs> um, but I think, I don't know, maybe putting your time into something else, like picking up a new hobby or like something like that time that like you need filled that you might have used to been with him. Yeah. And like your friends might be available that much because they're in relationships, which is kind of, I think taking control of your life and depending on yourself and being like, do you know what? No, I don't need him. Mm. I'll just do my own thing. And, Doing things for yourself that you depended on him for. Yeah. And kind of growing yourself that way, yeah. Do you think it's a case of like keeping yourself busy kind of thing or? Yeah, just doing things to get your confidence back. Mm. Uh, Like. Thirst traps. 
Three. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's still sad. That's a bad. It's only when that's a bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bad timing. Yeah. Um, I think. Yeah, just doing things that make you feel good. Mm. That maybe is used to do together, or like putting yourself back out there, going on dates. Like you don't necessarily have to be fully, fully over someone to put yourself back out there. No, yeah. it helps you get yeah. over quicker because you kind of if you meet someone nice, it's good because you're like, oh, there's nice people still out there, and even if not, it kind of gets your get you distracted a little bit. Yeah, after a while. Um, but don't be beating yourself up over feeling sad. No, don't be frustrated. No. Yourself. You're allowed to feel sad for as long as you want. Mm -hmm. The last one we have for today then is, Hi girls, can I just say first how much I love, love, love the pod. Literally brightens up my week. Thank you. We love you. Love you. My dilemma is I've been seeing this boy, not official, for four months. At the beginning, he was down near me for college. Down near me for the college bit of his apprenticeship. But now that's over. He has moved back to Dublin two hours away from me. Okay. Basically, we've been trying to see each other as often as we can, every two weeks-ish, but that usually means I travel to Dublin and we stay in a hotel. I don't know if I, it's just my trust issues from previous relationships that's playing up, but I can't help but worry I'm being used. He hasn't told family or friends he's seeing anyone, and when I travel to see him, we stay in the hotel because he wants to be with me only, or it's too expensive to go into town. He never wants pictures to the point where nearly... Five months seeing this boy, we've no pictures together or of each other. I have his number, but he only contacts me on Snapchat. We don't follow each other on Instagram and so many more small things that in my past relationship just happened, but are absent in whatever you'd call it with this boy. He's 24, almost 25 and hasn't even told his mom. I'm 21 He and have always been open with my mom in relation to who I'm seeing, etc. So it just confuses me. Everyone is telling me I'm overanalyzing the situation and that it's early days, which I get, but also I'm just kind of sure, I'm just kind of like surely he would want to call, FaceTime, take me out. When we're together, it's really good. He buys me flowers and tells me everything I want to hear. But then when I'm at home, it's back to texting on Snap until I make the effort to travel and see him again. He's never been in a relationship, so maybe he's just new to it all. But it's so different to how my previous relationship started that I just feel like he's using me. And after being used towards the end of past relationships I just want to get out early if needs be I almost can't relax or enjoy the early stages of talking to this boy that I usually find so exciting oh no <laughs> run run that's uh, no who's telling you're over analysing <laughs> tell them to get lost <laughs> oh my god no they're not if he ha hasn't told his family and all like what yeah like why are you hiding why is he hiding you, basically, from his life? He's not bringing mm. you into his life at all. Five months in, like, he should have... Like, no. Surely somebody in his family should know that I just want to take... In. It's too expensive to go into town. It's not really, like... It's not, no, yeah. To you stay can... in town, maybe, but, like, to, to go for food or something, like... So you can do town for free. There's free things to do. Yeah, to even if you walk on in Graft get Street, the, like... Get the bus into town. No. Go on a stroll and get a coffee. That's not expensive. No. And not even following each other on Instagram. Rev that bag. stood out to me. Yeah. That was the main one. Yeah. And why? Who's he worried that, is that he'll see. annoy? Yeah. Who's he worried of the reaction? It's if they giving he's him? in a whole relationship. It's giving this man has a Dublin girlfriend and you down the country. <sighs> yeah. He's keeping you sweet while he's with you. Yeah. But then when he's in Dublin, he yeah. has yeah. someone else. And he's staying in a hotel on the outskirts that probably no one will ever see you in. That's all he's ever do, go to a hotel. That's a red flag. <laughs> Immediate red flag. Like, have he's been on no dates? None. Doesn't even FaceTime or call you. Like, that's, it's like, it's literally given, like, it's given him benefits and nothing, no emotional benefits. Like, yeah. Do you think he just thinks it's that, though? No even pictures together? No, I'm sorry, this man is red flag <laughs> after red flag. He's obviously afraid that if someone was to text you and you'd be like, yeah, here's a picture with him, like. Proof. He has another girlfriend. Do you think? Yeah. Or he has a girlfriend and then this girl is, it's thing on the side. I think before we always say like, run, run, run. I think, But I think before doing that, I think everyone deserves some sort of like an explanation for things. Yeah. So I think say to him. Just be out straight with him. Like if you're, like you said yourself down the end here, where are you? I just want to get out early if needs be. So you've already kind of put that idea into your mind. Yeah. So then you shouldn't really care about what you say and what way you come across because I'd be kind of like that sometimes. Yeah. I'm not about what I yeah, say. Yeah. But because 
you're realizing all these things, I think you need to make him aware of what you're you're like realizing. And yeah, seeing. yeah, that's so true. So everything you've literally said to us there in the email, I'd say to him. Yeah. What's your problem? What's going on? Do you think? This yeah. Is, he could. You don't know what he could come back with. Or even saying like, where do you think this is going? Mm. Because he could literally be like, nowhere. <laughs> yeah. You would have thought this was just. Yeah, was, is this not enough? Just because X or something. Yeah. You no, know, he could think that. I think that's really important to, to ask that because if you don't ask, you won't know. Mm. And if like, you don't know how someone's thinking. Um, I just think if you're literally, you know, you, these are red flags from past relationships, you, you're listing them all out. I feel like even as she listed them out, she probably knew that this was wrong. Also, five months in, it's not really the early stages anymore. Yeah. It's not, like, really, is it? No. It's early, but it's not, like, oh, brand new, f- first few weeks. Yeah, like, you know them. Like, yeah, yeah, you know them. And I think that some kind of, no one should be in place of what's happening. Mm. Yeah, I think say it to him first and see what yeah. reaction he gives. What if he came back and was like, I'm so sorry, I genuinely thought this was enough. And, like, no. I'm how sorry. do you no. not follow him on Instagram? Like if you if you follow why don't you follow his Instagram? Like why aren't you following? Yeah, him that's a good start. That's a good starting point. So like, don't call him a freak. But that oh, was just I would. The first thing I'm, that I'm, came I'm not out. following back. You weirdo. <laughs> yeah. You could also see like if he's posting pictures, like wh- who's liking them. Mm. <laughs> oh. Go all detective on the ass. We're telling you to be toxic. Yeah. Though. No, it's it's giving me very toxic vibes. Mm. I don't think he's. Taking it seriously at all, I think he needs to be asked. I think try the Instagram follow first. Give us an update on what happens when you do that. Yeah, and we'll go from there. Put update in the caption of your email and let us know. Yeah, just follow him. See if he follows back. If he doesn't, be like, why aren't you following back? Yeah, why aren't you following back on Instagram? Yeah, yeah. yeah he'll probably be like, oh, I don't use it. I'm logged out. Oh, yeah, sorry, <laughs> forgot my password. <laughs> he'll panic. He'll try and go. The excuses they make up probably like yeah. I lost that phone. Yeah. I have a separate phone for Instagram and a separate phone for uh, for my texts and I don't know where the Instagram phone is. I can't follow anyone because my mum just be on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She uses My mum uses my account. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I wouldn't be surprised with men. I would not be surprised. They'll be tragic. Yeah. But keep us updated and let us know. Yeah. And you can send your dilemmas into homeidrink at goloudnow.com. New episodes of How My Drink Extra Juice come out every Monday and our main episodes are out on a Wednesday. Thank you so much to Prime for sponsoring this episode. We love you lots. Make sure to like, rate and subscribe. And we'll see you in on Wednesday for our main episode. On Wednesday, yeah. And then Mondays for our bonus. Yes. And we love you. Love you. Bye. Bye. Hold My Drink Extra Juice with Charlene and Ellie. A Go Loud original podcast, proudly sponsored by Pennies. Whether it's stylish savings, a new double snuddy, gym gear, or some beauty bits you're looking for, Pennies is the ultimate high street destination.